Good morning and a beautiful morning at that here at Daystar University. We are here for the 41st graduation ceremony here at the Athi River grounds. Uh, 60, 687 students graduating from the institution. We are expecting addresses from the Vice Chancellor, Dr. Laban Ayiro, and the Chancellor, uh, Professor Mary Murimi, as well as the uh, Chairman of the University Council, uh, Professor Henry uh, Thairo. Uh, we are also expecting the guest of honor, uh, Dr. Uh, Macmillan and uh, Kiro to also be giving an address. What's interesting to note about the university is that it was started about 53 years ago by Dr. Uh, Donald um, Smith and his wife Faye Smith who started the university in Zimbabwe. However, the political climate there was not so favorable at the time and so they came and relocated to Kenya and started the university here, starting with only 35 students and growing to about 5,000 students over time. Our own Helen Wanjohi will also be graduating from the uh, institution here today. And um, the students, of course, very jubilated and excited about the ceremony here today. Um, the address is being delivered right now, which has kick-started kick the graduation ceremony. And uh, we will be interviewing a parent and a student later on to just get their views about the day. And we will be taking you through that shortly. And have Thank you. A life grounded within the Christian theological teachings. And I want you to go out with a common recognition that a Daystarian must be an adherent to the servanthood dedication of living and leading. And so, the class of 2019, outside those gates, beyond this worthy university, just remember this, people won't care how much you know until they know how much you care. That is very important. People won't care how much you know until they know how much you care. So I want you to go out there as caring graduates. And remember, I've emphasized since I came to Daystar, let us care for each other. So when you go out there, can you show that caring attitude? So I ask that you join me so that together we make Daystar not only a university that reflects the society it serves, but one that is able to challenge conventional wisdom and help make our world caring and more inclusive. That is what I expect of you. And so before I give you my prayer, I want to recognize the following. Uh, for recognition, we are expecting within our midst, Honorable Mike Mbuvi Sonko, Governor Nairobi County, uh, and uh, the Estarian's thankfulness. So let us always clap and cheer people. The First Lady Primrose Mbuvi Sonko, The Deputy Governor, Makueni County, Her Excellency Honorable Adelina Mwau, on the way. <laughs> Rael Muthoka, Makueni County Secretary. <laughs> Representatives of the High Commission of Southern Sudan. <laughs> Professor Geoffrey Nguru, our second Vice Chancellor, is here today. Professor Faith Nguru, uh, the wife to our second vice chancellor, is here. <laughs> Dr. Don Smith, the founder. Uh, Mrs. Faith Smith, also the founder. Uh, Mr. Alan Bukusi, a member of council. Mrs. Ann Munene, Shepherd's Training Center. Let's cheer them up. <laughs> Reverend Paul, Reverend Canon Paul Ntukamazina from Light University in Burundi. Let's cheer this one. Yes, thank you so much. We have Dr. Karuki. These are friends uh, of your Vice Chancellor. Uh, the, Chancellor, uh, the Vice Chancellor of Kenyatta University has sent Dr. Kariuki. Let's appreciate him. We have Professor Ronald Chepkilot, Kabarak University. 
Professor Catherine Kiprop, Moi University, <laughs> Professor Kiplagat Kotut, University of Embu, um, Dr. Chelotri Seku, uh, Machakos Campus, <laughs> Dr. Anne Kiezo, African Union, <laughs> Dr. Moses Gidua uh, is the Vice Chancellor's guest. Uh, Mr. Muzondu, the Vice Chancellor's guest, the Easter Council members, the class of 1999. Let's cheer this class. Thank you so much. These are the ones who are going to lead the Chapo fundraising project, which I am chairing as the Vice Chancellor. The alumni board, in total, thank you very much, the clergy and representatives from the various corporates. Um, I have my members from other places, we shall not mention them because of time, and I want my graduates, the first lot that will carry a signature signed by Professor Laba Nairo to please stand. And this is my prayer for you. May your wishes always come true. Amen. May God always be with you. Amen. May your hands always be busy. Amen. May your feet always be swift. Amen. May you do for others so that they may also do for you. Amen. May you have joyful hearts always. May your song, the class of 2019, may your song always be sung. Amen. And perhaps the greatest wish anybody would wish you, and this is my wish to you as your vice chancellor and father, may you remain forever young. Amen. Thank you. Uh, I now invite... Uh, please be seated. I now invite the chair of the University Council, Professor Henry Thairo, to come and give his speech. Let's welcome our chairman with heart claps. Thank you all. I was asking the Vice Chancellor what is his prayer for me, <laughs> and he said to remain young. <laughs> now, the Chancellor of Desta University, Professor Mary Moremi, a guest of honor and chair of Desta. Uh, University Company, Reverend Dr. McMillan and Cairo, Desta University Vice Chancellor, Professor Laban Peter Airo, Your Excellencies, Ambassadors, and High Commissioners, the Chairman of Desta U.S. Board, Dr. Frank Lloyd, who is here with us uh, today, and his team from the U.S. The Board uh, of Desta University Alumni Association, those representing the Commission of University Education, the Vice Chancellors of other universities, archbishops, bishops, and members of the clergy, faculty, staff, and students of Desta University, graduating class of 2019, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. I would like to, first of all, greet all of you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, who is our Lord. And let me also start by congratulating all of you, graduates of June 2019. Today's graduation is a major step in your life. It is good that those important in your life have come to celebrate this day with you. 
and we thank God for his protection and provision during your studies at this time university. I'd like also at this time to thank our Chancellor, Professor Mary Moremi, for the last uh, two weeks that she has spent here at the university running the Chancellor's Forum, which involved many of our staff and students, and also which culminated in the running of the Diabetes Conference. Thank you, Chancellor, for the time that you have spent with us. Thank you. I also wish to express my gratitude to the Almighty God on my own behalf and on behalf of the University Council for this far he has brought us. And indeed we can say, Ebenezer, thus far the Lord has brought us. I say this because we have witnessed great progress since the last graduation, uh, last year in July. At that time, the task force was conduct, concluding its work, and soon after the Ju uh, July 7 graduation, a new council was appointed by the DESTA company and trustees. And this was my entry point to the governance of DESTA University for a second time having served on the Council of DESTA in earlier years, and then I left. I wish to thank the University Council for the great guidance they have given uh, during this period and the contributions they have made in st stabilizing the university. And one of that, of course, was appointing of the new vice chancellor, Professor Lapa Nairo, whom we have already introduced to all stakeholders. I also wish to thank the company for supporting the council since entrusting it with this great responsibility and privilege of leading this institution since July 31, 2018. Of course, as I have mentioned, a key achievement of the University Council during the past one year is the appointment and installation into office of the fourth vice chancellor of Desta University, Professor Laban Airo. Since assuming office, Professor Laban Airo has managed to stabilize the university with all its functions and given confidence first to students and staff alike. This acceptance by DESTA community has shown that the decision arrived at, uh, at, at in appointing him was right, not just for the council, but for all stakeholders of the university. And we are grateful to God for this. This also includes the Senate, management, faculty, staff and students, alumni, parents, and DESTA US who participated in this decision and I'm glad to recognize the team from the U.S. who have come for a retreat that we'll be having later on, actually starting tomorrow evening. And I would like them to stand up so that you can see them as we recognize the team with Frank. If you could stand up so that we recognize you. Thank you very much. Thank you. We as a council uh, remain committed to the advancement of this term, university with God's help and continue to keep a watchful eye on all the promises with, that we have made to the students. One of the three questions Professor Airo responded to was what he planned to achieve in his first 100 days in office which is coming to an end uh, tomorrow. <laughs> As we come to that end, the council will be sitting with Professor Airo to review his achievement against what he promised. Nevertheless, I can also assure you that the council has noted a lot of movement in a lot of areas that otherwise had stagnated before. And for this, we are very grateful to him, the council, 
the university senate and management for what has happened. One of the major decisions that um, the council has made uh, during this time is that it has declared that Adi River as the seat of the university and also that the VC will be residing here at Arthur River. And we hope that the time that we will be building a, a chapel that also included in that plan is to have a VC's residence within here at Arthur River. I also want to recognize the commitment and steps taken by Senate and management to stabilize the university and thank you all for this uh, effort and all for all of you working as a team. As I conclude, I'm glad to inform the university community that the council is in the process of substantively filling the positions of both the deputy vice chancellor so that we will have no acting vice chancellors. Just as in the case of appointing of the vice chancellor, the university stakeholders will be involved in the final decision making stage. And this will be coming soon in the month of July. I once again congratulate the graduates, parents, and guardians for this great day, celebrate and enjoy every moment of it, and may the good Lord continue to lead you. I wish you all a very successful future in serving others as true servants of God, as your vice chancellor has told you. God bless you all. Thank you, and stay young. And now it is my very, very great pleasure again to recognize our Chancellor and recognizing that today is actually the Chancellor's Day and the Graduates' Day. And it's my very great pleasure to invite Professor Mary uh, Moremi, who is our Chancellor, to come and address you. Thank you. What a wonderful day, what a wonderful morning, what a blessing. I'd like to first offer my most sincere congratulations to the 219 graduates in your determination to be, to be beacons of light, to serve and enhance cohesion in the society, and for reaching a major milestone in preparing for your future. I'd like to congratulate your parents and instructors for supporting you through this journey. A vote of thanks to the Vice Chancellor, Professor Laban Ayiro, who has been here for barely four months. But his influence and servant leadership spirit is present in every aspect of this university. A vote of thanks to the members of the Easter Company in recognizing when they rose to the occasion and worked so hard day and night to put us in the right channel. With them, I want to thank uh, the Easter University Council that worked together harmoniously and those are not normally two groups that work together, but because of their servant and leadership spirit, they worked harmoniously to get us where we are. I want to thank the members of management and Senate for believing in our students and believing in Deesta. Even when we didn't pay you well or on time, I want to thank the Esther students 
faculty, and staff, to all invited guests, and I dare not bore you by repeating the list that has been very well documented. In your various distinguished capacities, thank you for joining us in this very important event. Ladies and gentlemen, this university is this day sending approximately 700 graduates with degrees in bachelors of science and arts, masters, PhDs to the workforce. A degree from Daesha is valuable in a country where the rate of unemployment is over 40 percent. It is impressive that 70 percent of our graduates secure professional jobs within the first year of graduation. Despite the fact that Daystar was challenged by growing pains and changing paradigms in the recent past, I'm proud to report that the firm foundation that Daystar is founded upon provides resilience during stormy times. I'll give you an example. While a member of the faculty, Dr. Thomas Koya, lost half of his family in a period of 12 months. This the family surrounded Dr. Koya, family with prayers, moral and financial support in the spirit of servant leadership. You would have thought that his house has become a chapel. That is being the star of Daystar. I personally had the privilege of visiting Dr. Koya soon after the uh, the incidents, and ladies and gentlemen, while I was expecting to find him overcome with sorrow, I found him grading pile of papers for his student. This is a demonstration of a servant leader in a loving and supportive environment that our vice chancellor, who was not even there, has just promised to promote. Even more important, it is to know that our alumni continue to practice servant leadership long after they, are graduate, they graduate from Daystar. For example, a selected number of alumni strongly supported the Chancellor's Forum by giving a generous financial gift to sponsor students to attend the forum. I want to personally thank each one of you for supporting the Chancellor's initiative in the spirit of servant leadership. Our current students have embraced the call of servant leadership and the spirit of caring. During the Chancellor's Forum, two undergraduate students, Rosemary Kimangi and Mayor Emily Naitori, presented a plan to increase food access to the Athi River community, not just Daystar, through a garden project with a full market research and financial calculations to prove that the development of a garden would provide food to the food insecure and save money for Daystar. I'm glad to let Rosemary and Emily know that we have already identified the, lo the location of the garden and the first tree will be planted in that garden this week. As you graduate today, we encourage you to follow up on the project, and we ask all the well wishes, including our alumni, to support this project in honor of Emily and Rosemary. And now, to the purpose of this day, and to my favorite people on earth, to the graduates of 219. Congratulations once again for reaching this my great milestone. Your time is now. The degree you earn today is one of the most elite credentials that Kenya has to offer. 
But I don't want you to think about it as a document that hangs on your wall or a reflection of the accomplishments you've made so far. This degree is a social contract. It calls on you to devote your talents and energy in honoring those regents on whose shoulder both you and I stand. Despite all the challenges we face as a country, I do want to remind you as young professionals, Kenya is an, an, an extraordinary country and you're hearing from somebody who travels widely in the country, in, in, the, in the globe. And you're equipped with every tool to make it better, to make it a better place because your time has come. Going forward, you will not have to rely on grades or guidance from your instructors to tell you how you, you are doing and where you stand because your time has come to rely on your inner compass to take you in the right direction. However, to stay on the right course, your inner compass requires constant calibration. See, in an inaccurate inner compass will turn you into a drifter, blown in different directions by every wind. But if your inner compass is accurate, it will turn you into a courageous doer, unafraid of the strong weeds of opinion and thoughts. You will therefore not sit around waiting for a telephone call, or wait for an opportunity to come, or for your turn, because your inner compass will remind you that your time has come, and your time is now. Earning a degree from the Eastern University is not just a mastery of the content in your field of study, but the intentional development of servant leadership, attitude, and practice. These values have integrated, have been integrated in all levels of your education experience here in the Eastern. Servant leadership is a way of leading by example as you endeavor to build the change you wish to see in the world. And you lead, when you lead by serving others, people will be more inclined to follow you, making you an influencer. But remember, you will be, be, you'll, you'll be in a better position to influence your world if you allow the change you want to see to start with you. As an influencer, you will need to build accountability to protect you, to protect yourself when you go through negative pressures. Accountability will give you checks and balances to keep you on the right path. Assures you of a good harvest. Planting is an investment. It is hard to see an influencer who does not inf invest in others. For example, as you all know, Mother Teresa did not live a life of luxury or wealth, and yet she got our attention. Her investment in the poor chartered her path in influencing world leaders. Through applying servant leadership, Mother Teresa became an influencer to the world leaders and they started seeing the world through her glasses. Be an influencer. Similarly, evangelist Billy Graham is known as the most influential evangelist in this century. Not just because of the millions of people he brought to the knowledge of Jesus, which by itself is amazing, but also because of his influence to the world leaders and policy makers. They both planted widely and often, and as a result, they positioned themselves to influence the, the poor, the rich, the sinner, the leaders, and the church as a whole. While 
influencers were not all born with special gifts. They have something in common. They give generously, they give often, and they give widely. They invest in others, and they stay focused on their cause. They are not drifters, but courageous doers. They start small, but faithfully following their cause, they rise to the, to the height of influence they would not have imagined. Graduates of 2019, you are the Billy Grahams of tomorrow and the Mother Teresas of today. Go influence your world. In addition, please remember, the more people of your caliber plant good seeds and influence others, the more you will mitigate bad influences. Being an influencer is not just having many Facebook friends who like whatever you post or followers in your Twitter. It is being the agent of change that the world is looking for. Having been under the influence of Deister and having good seeds in your head, go influence our world with integrity and courage. I encourage you to be strong and courageous for God, for your God will be with you wherever you go, as he promised Joshua. I would like to emphasize that you are the most valuable tool of influence. Develop your character spiritually and professionally. As you develop your sphere of influence, start at home, whatever home is. Give your family the best. They're your most important likes and followers. Develop the value of influence, and that value will create your network, the followers, and the desired impact. As you leave us for the real world, never forget what your God requires of you. With the words of God to Prophet Micah 6 and 8, I charge you to act justly, to have mercy, and to walk humbly with your God. Congratulations, the graduates of 2019. I now invite the council chair to come and, in, and introduce or invite our guest speaker. It's my very, very great pleasure this um, uh, morning to introduce to you our next speaker, who is Dr. Macmillan Cairo, um, who is the chair of company, and uh, just wanted to say a few words before he comes to speak to us today as our guest of honor. I have known Dr. Macmillan Cairo for, for many years, been a personal friend, and he was the first um, the director of World Vision uh, in this country, uh, actually uh, right way into the 70s. Uh, he has been involved in Daystar um, as the chairman of the company for quite some time, yeah, be, be for a period of more than six years. And um, so he has seen also Desta go through difficult times and rise to the occasion. Um, but besides that, um, uh, and being involved in Desta, Dr. McMigran Cairo has a heart for young people and, um, and also for leadership. 
not only in the country, but also in the church. He runs a Bible school, and um, this day as we were coming together, he was telling me about the Bible school for uh, teaching pastors on how to know how to make a good sermon and to preach and also to be good leaders in their churches. But beside that also, for many years, he has taken care of many young people as orphans. And um, I remember in him sharing as a joke one day that he was uh, taking a big van of young people alongside with him in his van. And when he opened the door and there were more than 12 young people coming out of this van, the person who was receiving them said, haven't you ever heard of family planning? They were not his children. They are the children he had adopted. And a lot of those children, many of them, actually more than 70, some of them have come through here in Desta, and him and his wife and family have supported to make a difference in their own lives. So he has truly lived the life of a servant leader, and therefore it's my very great pleasure to invite him to address us, Dr. Makmir and Cairo. Good morning. Praise the Lord. The Chancellor of this uh, University, Professor Mary Muremi, the Chairman of this uh, University Council, Professor Henry Dairo, this uh, University Vice Chancellor, Professor Laba Nairo, and we are truly grateful, Professor Airo, for God bringing uh, you to us. You are God's sent and God's answer to this institution at this point in time. My professor and founder of this great uh, university, Don Smith and your wife, Faye Smith, the former chancellor, the second chancellor of this university, Professor Musemi, Your Excellencies, Ambassadors, and High Commissioners, the Chairman of this U.S. Board, Dr. Frank Lloyd, the Board of this University Alumni Association, the Chairman Commission of University Education, the Chairman Higher Education Laws Board, Vice Chancellors of other universities, like bishops bishops and members of the clergy, faculty, staff, and students of Desta University. Our special guest, 2019 graduating class. How are you? Praise the Lord for you. Amen. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, Professor Dairo, allow me to thank you most sincerely with the University Council for getting us to where we are. Nobody in their right senses that perhaps will be where we are today, but as you've prayed and put your hands to work, we thank God for you and thank you, Vice Chancellor, as well as Senate and, and management, for working together with the council for this great uh, success, and especially for bringing us to a new dawn. Join me, ladies and gentlemen, to congratulate these nearly 700 uh, graduates for the 2019. 
We are here to witness your graduation because as graduates, you have worked hard, you stayed focused on your goal. At whatever level you are, we cannot consider this a mean feat. Congratulations and God bless you. I want to believe, however, that getting to this day has taken much more than just yourselves. Alone, you could not make it. Certainly, you have paid the price, the sacrifice, the commitment, the discipline, the focus. Just to mention a few. But your parents, your guardians, your sponsors, have had to stand with you, support you, commit themselves to you and their resources that have enabled you to finish in time and to be graduating today. When all that is done, it has also taken preparation and timely attendance to classes by your faculty. And to ensure that uh, your course outline is covered every semester. As I congratulate you, graduates, I also want to acknowledge and congratulate all other actors who have actively participated in making or bringing you to this point, the parents, faculty, staff, and even the government, whether at policy level or in any of its capacities, that has enabled you to receive your award today. Allow me to just briefly reflect on the theme that you've chosen for this uh, great day, beacons of light to serve and enhance cohesion in society. Lack of cohesion and tribalism in this country and the institutions, even of higher learning, has created such darkness and roadblocks to peace and prosperity. And there is need a huge cry out there for solution and even for light. And so, graduates 2019, you are the beacons of light. And today you are being commissioned to serve as servant leaders. We challenge you to be the light in those dark pockets of our society, as well as to be the sort to sweeten the bitter waters of our society. It's also good to remember the period that we've gone through, and especially the recent past. We've all decided that we want to move on. We cannot dwell on the past. And I'm grateful for all the organs of this university, the individuals, uh, leadership, that have said enough is enough. We cannot watch this great institution go to the dogs. And so as part of the healing and reconciliation, following the dark uh, period that we have all experienced, uh, the leadership, the council, the senate, the management, the staff and students. We are all saying we want to move on. This coming week, we have three days. The Desta Company, university council members, as well as the top management, including the deans, we will be gathering not far from here just to reflect and seek God for the future of this institution, following the theme of a new dawn. 
so that DESTA will remain a school of choice in terms of quality education and service uh, delivery. I take note that seated among us, there are government agencies such as Higher Education Loan Board, which facilitates the students with the loans to bridge their financing for higher education, or the key universities and colleges, central placement services, COOPS, which sponsors the students to both the public and private universities. I'm reliably informed that uh, currently Desta University has pro approximately 600 government-sponsored students between the first and third year of uh, study, and largely in the School of Science, Engineering, and Health. I also understand that being a private university that does not uh, get government subsidy, the Desta has designed its own financing tools to support the advancement of this institution. In this regard, allow me, and this has been mentioned, to acknowledge the presence of this U.S. Uh, board and staff, including the team that has been introduced uh, to us, Northwest University, who have really done a lot of work behind the scene in support of this institution, not only through the development of our facilities, but also in provision of scholarship. And so we thank you for standing with us in mobilizing resources for this institution. In this past year, I'm informed that the university spent approximately 40 million Kenya shillings for student scholarship. And I believe some of those graduating today are part of the 228, uh, 220 students who benefited from the benevolence of DESTA US and DESTA University this past year. And so we appreciate our friends and partners across the United States from DESTA staff, faculty, and local churches that give towards the scholarship fund at DESTA University. Madam Chancellor, the alumni in many institutions uh, take a lead in the mobilization of resources, and we are grateful, Bana. Vice Chancellor, for the meetings that you've had with the 1999 alumni to take the leadership in ensuring that we mobilize resources for putting uh, the chapel. All these efforts notwithstanding, it's not always everyone who starts ends. And that is why the Bible says that the end of a matter is better than its beginning and also discourages us from glorifying the old good days. But we acknowledge the efforts of those who have helped to lay the foundation of this institution to where it is today. And we do not and we dare not despise the humble beginnings. And so for all those efforts, we thank God today. Aside from the teaching of the teaching role of a university, institutions of higher learning also derive meaning from active engagement in research, both academic and action-oriented. And I dare say that this remains still one of the weak areas of universities uh, in this country. And so we are delighted, uh, Madam Chancellor, uh, that since 2017, uh, you have taken uh, steps in ensuring that through the Chancellor's Forum we are bringing back this focus of research to this institution. And so we continue to encourage our faculty and students to get more involved in research and especially in grant writing. I'm informed that during this uh, year's Chancellor's Week, the Chancellor mentored eight research groups and that three have potential of attracting external uh, funding. But as I conclude, I just want to remind us of that which is really foundational to this institution. We have a more sure word of prophecy, whereunto ye do well that you take heed as unto a light 
that shines in the dark place. Until the day dawn and the day star rise in your hearts. Remember ye not the former things, neither consider the things of the old. Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Will you not know it? Will you not even make a... Will you not uh, know it? I will make a way in the wilderness and the rivers in the desert. And so graduating class of 2019, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord's face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord give you peace. May the Lord grant you prosperity and success. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's give another hand clap for our chief guest, please. Beacons of light to serve and enhance cohesion in the society. Daystar is a special place to be. A friso will give us special music at this time. A friso, please. Yeah. 
You're a beacon of light. Shine out, shine out. Oh, wait, hey, hey, hey. Ah, oh, to my Maliza Shule. Beacons of light. Beacons of light. Here, yeah, hey, to serve and enhance cohesion in society. Cohesion in society. Beacons of light. To serve and enhance. Yeah, 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 you go and enhance somebody. Hey, hey. Beacons of light to serve and enhance cohesion in society. society. One more time. Beacons, Beacons of, of light, light to serve and enhance. Hey, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah. I'm the salt of the earth I'm the salt of the earth I carry the flavor of God I season the earth season the earth I'm the salt of the earth I'm the salt of the earth I carry the flavor of God I season the earth I'm the salt of the earth. I'm the salt of the earth. Salt of the earth. I'm the salt of the earth. I carry the flavor of God. I season the earth. Yeah, I'm the salt of the earth. I'm the salt of the earth. I'm the salt of the earth. I carry the flavor of God. I season the earth. I season the earth. I'm a city built on the high like the east. I am rich. I am prosperous. I am blessed. I am blessed. I'm a city built on the high like the east. I'm a city built on the high like the east. I'm a city built on the high like the east. I'm a city built on the high like the east. I'm a city built on the high like the east. I am highly I'm highly favored. I'm highly favored. I'm I shine the light of God upon the earth because, because of light, because of light, because of light. You are because of light, because of light in Jesus. Yeah, name. Thank you, thank you very much, Afrizo. When Jaguar chose to modify that name to Jaguar, he knew exactly what he was doing. It is a jungle out there, and his sixth sense must have told him he needed Jaguar-like speed and agility to survive. But even Jaguar gets caged, especially when he allows his mouth to get into a free-for-all mode. Ya watu wametoka inchi za nje wanakuja kufanya kazi hapa. Na mimi nataka niseme leo. Mimi napea serikali masai 24. Kama hawa watu watakuwa merudi kwa. Mimi kama mjumbe wa hapa. Tutaingia kwa hizo maduka wanafanyia kazi. 
tutaingia kwa hizo maduka wanafanyia kazi sisi tutawatoa tutawapiga na tutawapeleka airport now after the arambe stars versus taifa stars match he may argue that he meant to say we'll beat them on the pitch and ensure they return to the airport empty handed not even that could convince the judge i direct that the respondent shall be held uh, for three working days to jail he goes and now look at this the man sang about being in prison one day and it seems he's working hard to actualize that dream let's just say he loves to juggle many balls at the same time as you know most youth didn't go through vocational training most most youth, most of the youths we are talking about who, who most youth who uh, most you as you as you know come on jagua try kiswahili or even mother tongue uh, papana, keep uh, going keep going don't have uh, those who do, eh ni ulimi yangu na kuanga hivi next time i'll rather you just sang ukisikia wimbo ukisema nikiimba sana hapa doni madu yuengi wananisu And if you have been wondering where Karanga disappeared to, here he is. He now sings. But where does he get his inspiration? And that Roho Mtakatifu is leading him to Tanga Tanga. Niki Tanga Tanga hapa dunia. This raw can get political it seems. Mimi speak is yasa. Yale mimi naambia nyinyi ni ya ukweli. Sio siasa. Dare you tell him he's not being truthful. Oh hallelujah. And these two calls for a very loud hallelujah. We yearned for the FBI and here they are. They are here to investigate an alleged plot to end the life of the DP. FBI? Yes, FBI. Leave no stone unturned. Let's go. Uh -huh. So, is the DP's life in danger? Is your life in danger, sir? And have you <laughs> sir? Back to Jaguar. How come he's so loud during rallies, but in parliament he has taken a vote of silence? The, the parliament leadership uh, denies any chances to speak in parliament. Yes. So you have an equal chance in parliament? Yes, I can say that. We have, an equal, we have equal chances in parliament. It's all about understanding. NTV, turning on your world. The following program has been rated PG. It may contain scenes unsuitable for children under the age of 10. Is a photographer's dream come true? The huge rocks market the area to hikers and adventurers. The tranquility is a prayer answered to them who enjoy a quiet time and meditation. Loropil, the center of today's story, means Mahali Pazuri, a wonderful place. It is in Loropil, 27 years ago, that a girl was born, Rebecca Kararayo. Kararayo's story is similar to that of many girls born in this county. She has had a difficult life, could not complete her primary education, and eventually got married while still in her teen years. Later, after having six children, her husband, Hapila, died five years ago, leaving her to fend for their children. A relative of her husband took her in, and together they had another child. 
uweze kaa na mtu na auna mtoto wake. Sasa ndo nikaamua nipate mtoto wake mmoja ndo tupate kunisaidia. Four of her children qualify to join early childhood development class but they are at home because of distance and finances. Nikilipia huyu huyu leo anakaa alafu nilipie ule. Huyu anakaa leo kesho ule nilipie ule mwingine alafu mimi naende. Ninajaribu tu mali ninaweza. Bas ingine shule watoto wananafuse watoto wa shule sina pesa ya kupeana. Aya wanakaa nyumbani. Wengine ni wako nasai. Lazima nasi kuna kitu kidogo inatakikana tu. Kararayo depends on charcoal she burns from branches of the Mathenge plant that has littered her compound. Proceeds from the controversial plant perceived as poisonous to humans and livestock and introduced in arid and semi-arid regions of the country in the 1980s is what has been feeding her family. She used to burn the charcoal with her husband. Loso Colvario, an elder here, tells me the Ilchamus community believes in getting many children. And they have reasons as to why they are opposed to family planning methods. Samani na saa baka mama mwenye na kusha mbegu. Tunawananga hii wa mama kama naenda kupanga usasi. Pengine inafanyu operation. Napasulio kwa tumbo, lafu hiyo tumbo narudia yesa yote na kwa mgojwa ya nini, na kwa ansa, kansa hili ya tumbo. Hiyo ndiyo tunawananga mbaya. Kuna madawa na gunywa, naenda kukaa kwa tumbo, naweka kinuanda kwa tumbo. Suji madawa ya kupanga usasi, na mna gani? Even though Kararayo is still struggling to take her four children to an ECD center, something new is happening a few kilometers from her neighborhood that might eventually change her story. Early childhood development centers are sprouting and bursting with life as their numbers increase. They are receiving more pupils. At Ilngarua Primary School, we have ECD pupils from different schools sharing classes after they were forced out of their schools due to floods. The recent rains have changed the picture of Baringo. Water levels at Lakes Baringo and Bugoria have risen. The two serve as tourist attractions and also a livelihood to some residents. Patricia Leda, an ECD teacher since 2006, is tasked with ensuring amidst the crowd of pupils there is order. She started this journey as a volunteer and it was a struggle convincing parents to take their children to school. So, Na na hope ni huyu mtoto mwenye ametosha kwenda ICD ndio atakaa. So tukaona leo mtoto wako shule kesho ayuko. Hivyo tukafuatilia paka kwa chiefs. Chiefs sasa wakachukua hatua. Ni kwenda nyumba kwa nyumba kuwatoa. Ndio watoto wakarudishwa shule na wakawa sawa sasa. Alia the Ilchamus community did not see the value of sending their children to school but things are slowly changing for the better. Kama wazazi yangu, wawo wajasoma, lakini wali manage kutisomesha sisi. Wazoto wote kwa hiyo bomo wamesoma. So, ata wawo wazazi wengine wanaangalia hile bomo wenye wamesomesha watoto, na kuona hile mwendeleo yu watoto wameletea wazazi yao. Pia ata wawo wanatamani, wakai hivyo. So, hime bidu wamekubali kuleta watoto shule. Before 2014, 
Baringo's ECD story was different. Before 2014, we were totally wengi. We were totally wengi. We So, we the county government to chip in. That was 2014 February. We were able to get in the process of the government to get in the process of the government. So, the nearest village was in the village. So, so Zingine zilipo funguliwa, idadi kaanza kuteramuka. Sabu kama mtoto anaishi karibu na hapo, siya napeleko hapo. Samani, tulikuwa na ECD centers ine. Na kwa saa hii, simiongezeka, simivika karibu kumi. But they also have a set of their challenges. Learning materials. Iyo unajua sasa itabidu unajitafutia we mwenyewe. Na jununulia karibu kila kitu. Sabu county government, walijanga darasa. Hakuna kitu ngine tunaona. Kama haizi new curriculum. Yo tuko kwa gisa tu. Kuna kitu tunailewa hapo atuja hito tuambu inafanyo hivi na hivi. Initially parents used to pay the ECD teachers. But county governments took over after early childhood education was devolved. Though the county governments prefer the teacher service commission to handle payment of the teachers. Although the payment was... A little bit low. Now we have scaled it. Those that are not trained per se, but were found by the county government working in the sector, were paying um, 7,500. Whereas those have certificates, they're paying 9,000. And those that are having diploma, the diploma holders, were paying 10,000. This was just to actually mitigate the issue of parents paying. Because they have TAC numbers, the Teacher Service Commission should actually take that responsibility. The issue of the payment of the ECDC should be shouldered by them. Population is ever increasing. It's ever increasing. So we want to construct two classes. We have constructed one one. We are revisiting again those schools that have been constructed. And now we are facilitating. We are, uh, 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 equipping those institutions. Miles away from Baringo County is a land that is identical to Baringo. It is surrounded by Lakes Chala and Jipe. The terrain is captivating and similar in every sense. You will also find the Mathenge plant here. The road network is one to behold, not to mention the less traffic. But their ECD story is different. This is Taita Taveta County, Taveta Subcounty. At this quarry in Kedong, Taveta, we meet different families toiling for their daily bread. Some are here with their children. Unlike Baringo, a majority of families in Taveta have opted to have less than three children. The number of children enrolling in ECD centers has decreased drastically in the last five years. Priscilla Mwingi, a mother of eight, frequents this place. She has to break stones before she can pocket a few shillings that will help feed her children and grandchildren. It takes almost a week to break a mound of these stones which will eventually fetch her 1,000 shillings. Priscilla does not want any of her children to have more than two children. In her own words, it is a burden that will trap them in a cycle of poverty. Mambo sa kuzikwizi ya mekua magumu zi kama pale tulikuwa tunazaa, tunalima, maindishi ya mani, tunavuna, tunangombe. Sa hii hakuna mahali unaeza kuga ngombe hata ngombe mbili. Kuna mapatu sikuizi unaeza lisha watu wane watana. Naona mtu ameza watoto wawili, mtu amesitisha ni watoto watatu. Of her eight children, Nan has a stable source of income. Daniel Ndolo is Priscilla's son. He has two children and says he will not have more. He also works here together with his mother. Sio hapa kuna vijana wengi hapa. Nafanya kazi, 
Kana ukifika nyumbani ushiriki na mama. Ndio maana nakwambia kuzaa sahihi ni ngumu. Men and women of Kidong area frequent this quarry daily in order to raise some money for their daily bread. It is the tough conditions and the intensity of work that has made some of them make that critical decision of not having more than two children. John Wambua, an elder here, is opposed to sentiments held by a majority of young people choosing to have fewer children. Sisi wenyewe kama hivi tumejikakamua tukazaa lakini vijana saa hii mtu anaangalia nikizaa kama watoto waina au watano nitawafanya nini Ni lazima wanakuta mtu mwingine anakwambia mimi anaheri niwe na mtoto mmoja au nakuta mwingine anakwambia mimi wakiwa wengi wao wawili Lakini kwa kulingana na mawazo yangu watoto wawili si suluhisho Suluhisho ni ufanye kazi utavuta angalau uwe na watoto waine au watatu Bahati mbaya itokea ajali pengine mtoto wako alikuwa amesafiri kwenda pale si una mtoto mmoja ame yani yani amekuja amepata ajali amekufa wewe utabaki na nini good morning St Patrick's Kimala Primary School is already feeling the effects of a decision made by people in Taveta sub county the population of ECD learners has continuously dropped over the years And here we learn that, apart from the harsh economic times that everyone has been mentioning, there is an increase of broken marriages and men who are not ready to take up responsibilities of bringing up their children. We are told this has led to a majority of women to start using family planning methods secretly without the knowledge of their husbands. Wanafanya katika siri kubwa sana kwa sababu wengine hata wakijulikana ni jana tu ndikuwa na shea na mmoja anasema akiwa ndani anafagia fagia eh, kitabu yake ikawa imeanguka mahali so ilipokuwa imeanguka mahali yule mzee ajui kusoma akina mzee kwani akaka kitabu kadogo hivi ni kanini akamwambia ni kitabu cha watoto cha hospitali sio sio unaenda na dunga dunga masindano yako hapa eh sio na dunga dunga masindano yako hapo so unaona ni kitu ambacho mzazi wa kike anaenda kukifanya kisiri bila mzee kujua baba hataki majukumu mama anangangana na ule mzigo wa kulipa ile ada inafika mada analemewa na baba hataki kuchukua jukumu lake vilivyo tutasema hiyo tendo la kutelekezwa liko taveta kwa wingi na linachangiwa na ulevi mali pengine tutasema ni uzembe wa vijana wetu wanavyokuwa wanakuwa kijua kwamba kuwa kuongeza mtoto ni rahisi lakini sio kubeba majukumu sasa imewalemea sana wale wa mama in life once a child is born they're exposed to a number of tests a baby crying at birth is the first test a baby crawling and eventually learning to stand on their two feet is also a test a baby learning to make the first syllables is another test and therefore tests are part of the cycle of life and as such anyone going through them needs quality guidance this starts from home before they enroll in a school hii unaonekana ukizaa watoto zaidi wa 4 yani mikombe umefanya kosa katika jamii watu wanaanza kukuuliza kwani una shida gani unazaa watoto wengi wewe uone hata matajiri sikuizo wanazaa watoto wawili tu wewe masikini ndio unazaa watoto wengi Five classes in this school are empty because of the dwindling population of learners. The effect has gone all the way up to upper primary. This is one of the classes at St. Patrick's Kimala that has been empty for the last seven months. And if you look around, we have empty seats of children who are supposed to be using this class and teaching aids all around, but no children. Na pia ukienda katika shule nyingi, unapata watoto ni kumi, na tano, kumina sita, na ni shule ilikuwa kwa inabeba watoto harubaini ama watoto hamsini. Six like a spoon, eat, eat, eat. Zero like a spoon, eat, eat, eat. Hii shule tukichukua kama sehemu ya chekechea ilikuwa na stream start. Ambao tulikuwa kwa na baby class, nursery na pre-unit. Sai wako pipi wana pipi tu ambapo ni streams mbili tu ile hata tangia mwaka jana hao baby class hawakuwepo kwa hivyo ilibidi wafunge darasa moja watumie haya mawili wazazi wa kiume wametekeleza majukumu yao 
ukienda mikutano ya imeitwa ni baraza community baraza utapata wa mama ndo wana. Linet Wahu Kilanya Richard Kinyamal Mbama Lucy Kalondu Kadushi Janet Kihima Michelle Nyamurwa Magondu Victor Cyril Masinde Janet Kaingi Nyamu Diploma in Human Resource Lilian Wangui Kinyua Michelle Kendi Kiritu Mburu Wairimu Teresia Stacy Paris Odhiambo Diploma in Communication Odete Leroy Apollo Pauline Bohela Atumalie Jack Safari Gitonga Edgar Okaya Haman Joan Wairimu Kariuki Mboya Stella Kasioka Rose Wanjiku Matimu Doreen Willy Mbandi Daniela Wamboi Morgan Lilian Kendi Muridi Moses Madheka Musembi Nyamai Cynthia Mutindi Sean Musila Mutua Masila Sara Mwikali Atunga Akinyi Nila Stephanie Ochieng Noela Phineas Amimo Odhiambo Mark Vincent Otunga Mutuku Nzisa Sharon Michelle Nduku Uvia Michelle Wanjiru Washira Abigail Nasiche Waka Asumta Umotoniwase Celine Mutuku Shume Laura By my authority and that of the entire university, I admit you to the diploma that has been presented to you and give you power to read and to do all that appertains to the said diploma. You may please be seated. Will all the Doctor of Philosophy degree graduates Please rise and come forward. Madam Chancellor, in the year 2019, the following candidates whom I have the honor to present to you satisfied the Board of Examiners and the Senate of Desta University for the award of Doctor of Philosophy in Communication and Doctor of Philosophy in Clinical Psychology degrees of Desta University. and that of the entire university, I confer on the candidates there by name the Doctor of Philosophy degrees of the Easter University.
please come forward. Yves Daikunda is Burundian, a Christian and a gentleman, the father of one and is married to Claire Karin Kimana. One of his major achievements is that he joined Deista University when he could hardly speak a word of English, but is, but is departing fluent in both English and French, excluding his native tongue. Yves's area of interest is in political communication and is passionate about the role of ICT in governance. He was supervised by Dr. Samuel Kamau, uh, Dr. Ndaikunda's dissertation, Enhancing Citizen Participation Through E-Democracy in Burundi, problematizes the, the discontinuities in citizens' participation in democracies against the backdrop of the limits of normative communication structures, channels, and frames. He explores the potency of e-democracies, a continuum of the traditional and modern, interchangeably substituting and complementing each other. He finds, however, that in the case of Burundi, the uptake of e-democracy is only tentative. The predisposition of statecraft, ICT resource limitations, the problematic of the fusion of old and new are ongoing challenges in this process. In the end, e-democracy has a lot of potential to enhance citizen participation in decision making, but its efficacy must be anchored in the principles of democracy, capacitation of the citizens, interactive communication and in the tradition of Wilbur Schramm and integrated in equal measure. Jenny Kuria, please come forward. <laughs> Jenny Miyuko Korea, our research topic was the efficacy of trauma focused cognitive behavioral therapy on the treatment of post traumatic stress disorder among adolescents residing at Neema and uh, uh, to Mahini Children's Homes in Nyandarwa County. This, our study was supervised by Professor Lidia Nwame and Dr. Sylvia Tuikong. Chen investigated the efficacy of trauma-focused cognitive theory therapy on the treatment of post-traumatic stress disorder among the adolescents of Nema to Mahini Children's Home, Nyandarwa County. The study utilized was experimental research design with experimental and control groups the data utilized the quantitative and qualitative approaches. Chain sought out to establish the preferency of PTSD to determine the severity of PTSD symptoms to establish the factors associated with the development of PTSD in order to identify the comorbidities of the PTSD and access the efficacy of trauma-focused cognitive behavior therapy. The findings of the study revealed that that there was a positive relationship between trauma-focused cognitive therapy and PTSD symptoms. When the treatment was administered, the symptoms were found to be statistically significant, significantly reduced, showing that the treatment was effective. In addition, trauma-focused cognitive behavioral therapy was also found to be effective in treating depression and anxiety. 
based on the findings of this study, trauma-focused cognitive behavioral therapy is highly recommended for the treatment of PTSD uh, by counselors and teachers. It is also, also recommended uh, for the use and implementation by the Ministry of Education. Please come forward. Charlie Pravin Manecha, please come forward. The research topic for Charlie Manecha was the efficacy of mindfulness based cognitive behavioral therapy in anger management among students in selected school, secondary schools in Nakuru County. The study was supervised by Dr. Alice Munene and Dr. Kennedy Ongaro. Charlie investigated the efficacy, mindfulness, based cognitive behavioral therapy in anger management among secondary schools in Nakuru County. The study adopted course experimental research design with experimental and control groups. The data was analyzed utilizing both preventive and quantitative approaches where Charlie studies sought to identify the indicators of anger preference among the students. The correlation between anger and anxiety relationship between the depression and examine the differences in expressing and controlling anger between boys and girls in public secondary schools in Nakuru County. This study was driven by the anger secondary school students seem to exhibit through uh, acts of violence. In this study, two schools were selected through purposeful random sampling from the 24 public secondary schools within Nakuru County, Kenya, and the schools were purposefully uh, sampled owing to the fact that they had desired characteristics and that they had the students who were faced with anger management problems. A population of 100 students, 50 girls and 50 boys from the two secondary schools with similar uh, demographic and situational characteristics was recruited in this study. The main instruments used in this study were the back depression inventory and back anxiety inventory. The results of the study showed that the preference of disruptive anger among secondary students was 23.7%, which was a great variability in the indicators of anger among students in the county. Regarding depression and anger, this study found out that there was a significant positive correlation between trait anger and depression among the students. Further, the study revealed that the boys scored higher in terms of anger, depression, and anger control than the girls. However, girls were averaged better in anger control uh, in comparing to the boys. Besides being effective in reducing symptoms of anger, the study revealed that mindfulness-based cognitive behavioral therapy also led to the significant reduction of symptoms of depression among the students. Please come. Finally, Susan Chengorok, please come forward. Yeah. 
Susan Chong Rock has achieved all her degrees from Daystar University. Our research topic was the efficacy of cognitive behavioral therapy, CPT, among the children with oppositional deviant disorder in primary schools in Nairobi County. The study was supervised by Dr. Philemon Yugi and Dr. Uh, Winnie Wayaki. Susan investigated whether the cognitive behavior therapy was an effective treatment for primary uh, children with oppositional deviant disorder. The study adopted a course uh, experimental research design with experimental and control groups. A sample of 180 respondents was utilized that analysis was done using qualitative and quantitative approaches. This study sought to establish the preferency of ODD in children and examine the risk factors of ODD among the children. In order to identify the comorbid conditions with ODD among the children to determine the efficacy of CPT interventions in the management of children with ODD. The study was driven by the curiosity to find out whether children exhibiting oppositional deviant disorder can be assisted using the popular mode of psychological treatment called cognitive behavior therapy. Two schools were selected through purposive sampling and randomly assigned to the experimental and the control groups. The schools were purposefully sampled owing to the fact that they had desired characteristics and the students exhibited oppositional deviant disorder. Data was collected using social demographic questionnaire, the child and adolescent disruptive behavioral inventory and the parent and teacher fashions. Analysis of variance was carried out for the results at baseline, midline, and end line overall, the results showed that the preference of ODD was 79 and was significantly dominant among the boys and girls. In addition, the risk factors for uh, oppositional deviant disorder uh, were perception of socioeconomic status, access to counseling services. By my authority and that of the entire university, I admit you to the degree that has been confirmed on you and give you power to read and to all that appertains to the said degree. Congratulations. Please be seated. Will all the master's degree graduates please rise and come forward. Madam Chancellor, in the year 2019, the following candidates whom I have the honor to present to you satisfied the Board of Examiners and the Senate of Desta University for the award of the Postgraduate Diploma in Education 
Master of Arts in Communication, Master of Arts in Diplomacy, Development and International Relations, Master of Arts in Child Development, Master of Arts in Monitoring and Evaluation, Master of Arts in Counseling Psychology, and Master of Business Administration degrees of Desta University. By my authority and that of the entire university, I confer on the candidates thereby, thereby named the postgraduate diplomas and master degrees of Desta University. And Wajiro Dongo. Masters of Arts in Diplomacy, Development and International Relations, Eunice Cheroto. Sylvia Odiambo Okech. Master of Arts in Corporate Communication, Lucy Vihenda Chisnel Adagi, Dorothy Jebor Kandie, Rachel Kailu Kilonto, Olivia Jemutai Kipkemboi, Rose Angeo Makomere, Tabitha Dunge Mutemi. Emakulet Mikali, Henry Harman Nyonjo, Kezia Wanjiku Njoroge, Petronila Mbishis Shichana, <laughs> Master of Arts in Development Communication, Monica Nyakibi Akahara, Florence Nzenya Kigen, Noni Jennifer Mumba, Francis Peter Mroki, Master of Arts in Media Studies, Christopher Anamani Eboka, Zipora Kalondu Kiyoko, Shadrach Njoroge Kirunga, Susan Mukulu Nzuki, <coughs> Ogata Monganda Sylvester, Master of Arts in Child Development, uh, Cyrilia Ngatia Yei, Sheira E. Washira. Master of Arts in Community Development, Jemima Nduku Kironso, Kimansi Chosfat Ngundi, Ochieng Golden, Kisa Terry, Master of Arts in Counseling Psychology, Sharin Wangonyo Karanja, Joyce Bosibori Mogire, Ann Kinanu Ariti Munyao, Francis Mutua Mutuku, Sarah Masi Maraki Otieno, Master of Arts in Monitoring and Evaluation, Irene Wangui Vishia. Masin Tambin Zau, Rainer Ankote Sinsore, Riri Dwoki Tombe, Beatrice Arukonya, Yevete Isimiwe, Master of Business Administration in Finance. Go to Tolasa Fogi. 
Grace Wanjiru Muthi. Deborah Mbeke Mudoka. Joel Kembo Nasibu. Esther Mukami Njogu. Catherine Kaindu Nzioka. Muyisa Katuka Theophil. Boniface Kimani Tumbo. Master of Business Administration in Human Resource Management. Sheila Awar Muhando. Kinoti Joy Mkatha. Master of Business Administration in Marketing. Martin Mulela Kidula. Master of Business Administration in Strategic Management. Anne Mugure Karago. Susan Jerry Kieri. Disan Cheruyot Lagat. Eva Mary Wangui Maina. Gloria Kaluki Mwasia. Alain Birindua Ndangano. Catherine Imo Ngoge. Patricia Karemi Mwiti. Lillian Awino Owegi. Esther Wanjeko Wabogo. Kevin Mwendwa. Job Morioki. Grace Mwangi. Philip Ndewa Mua. Master of Business Administration with double major option. Ososo Maureen Akumu. Gloria Ndaisi Kiai. Veria Wawira. Dennis Mutunga Mwema. Gladys Naluso Kamchira. Lydia Virginia Mudoki. Elisha Kamau Mwangi. Sim Siprosa Adhiambo Rabach. Jonathan Kadungu Maweu. Edwin Ndegwa Maingi. By my authority and that of the entire university, I admit you to the degree that has been confirmed on you and give you power to read and to do all that appertains to the said degree. You may please be seated. With all the School of Arts and Humanities, bachelor's degree graduates, please rise and come forward. Madam Chancellor, in the year 2019, the following candidates whom I have the honor to present to you satisfied the Board of Examiners and the Senate of Desta University for the award of Bachelor's of Arts, Bachelor's of Education, Bachelor's of Arts in Bible, and Bachelor's of Theology degrees of Desta University. By my authority and that of the entire university, I confer on the candidates thereby named the Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Education, Bachelor of Arts in Bible, and Bachelor of Theology degrees of the ESTA University. Bachelor of Arts in Peace and Conflict Transformation, Bernard Matthew Otiko. Jovinare Bonface Karoro. 
Bachelor of Arts in International Relations and Security Studies, graduating with high honors, Rose Emma Jaggi. Graduating with high honors, Rita Malen Aoko Olango. Graduating with high honors, Chantal Ayego Lukoe. Graduating with high honors, Grades Shebore Soy. Brian Dio Akijuang. Barin Nedi Adeka Alubale. Phil Shebet Baraza. Cheruliot Jael Chepuyongen. Sally Mudoni Gashao. David Wafula Kawaya. Joyce Joki Kehuna. Adrian Kebet Pilot. Joy Omoro Kinyajui. Jahol Robert Boya. Naomi K. Mose. Evans Wirigi Mugambi. Winfred Mwelu Mwindi. Kutumbe Chirosa Mukunda. Sylvia Wairimu Mudia. Abigail Butu Mugai. Ive Nancy Mwangi. Butubei Samuel Jagi. Mora Sarah Jabi. John Willis Joroge. Brian Muithia Zuki. Gilbert Habakuk Mondi. Papilinia Ann Kwamboka. Helga Dennis Somi. Kevin Muthura Zeuri. Faith Mutio Wambua. Mwambodo Dokas Mwabua. Muturi Maureen Wanjiku. Wangare Margaret Wanjiro. Marianne Mungai. Maupa Esther. Michelle Juhi. Sharon Akura. Double major in international relations and security studies, peace and conflict. Graduating with honors, Tracy Wagare Karume. Bachelors of Education, Vivian Wayua Kiebeni. Dora Nedege Baonga. Nancy Wairimo Muirori. Eva Wairimo Juguna. Lois Nechese Osuba. Bachelors of Arts in Bible. Martin Joram Dulo. Bachelors of Theology. Wilson Masatu Ekambi. Ba Koyogo Ezra Grimo. By my authority and that of the entire university, I confer on the candidates there by name the Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Education, Bachelor of Arts in Bible, and Bachelor of Theology degrees of Deesta University. Please be seated. With all the School of Human and Social Sciences Bachelor's degree graduates, please come forward. 
Madam Chancellor, in the year 2019, the following candidates whom I have the honor to present to you satisfied the Board of Examiners and the Senate of Deister University for the award of the Bachelor's of Arts degree of Deister University. By my authority and that of the entire university, I confer on the candidates there by name the Bachelor of Art degrees of Daystar University. Bachelor of Arts in Community Development. Graduating with honors. Kimenchu Ephraim Kagombe. Masi Chemutai Kimeto. Kendra Gaki Kirera, Hilda Ismail Mbuyeku, Sarah Swahiri Musangi, Arnold Nzomo Mwindi, Faith Wau Mwiruri, Jonathan Kiogora Mukindia, Sylvia Mdoni Mungai, Ririan Wasai Mwandawiro, Michael Musumbi Mwansa, Patience Parasa Nafula, Maria Mwendengara, Elizabeth Wanjiru Nganga, Mark Muriti Ngondi, Ama Ruben Niai, Grace Achieng Ogora, Jeragat Masirono, Masa Sarome Sarama, Abigail Nu Samaria, Grace Wangui Waome, Kamoto Gibson Waite, Victoria Mwindi Wambua, Victoria Mutindi Wambua, Corinne Vasira Williams, Debra Chinchahile, Karancha Evans, Garibano Devi, Bachelor of Arts in Counseling Psychology, graduating with honors, Evoda Waitera Kiju, graduating with honors, Christopher Dui Rimo, Panesha Samisho Chivenyese, Lorraine Wangari Gishui, Joy Achieng Rango, Michelle Mwihaki Maina, Mwadime Josephine Manga, Ricarda Mdoni Moilo, Arex Musioki, Mavis Mtetia. Borona, Janet Wamaita Muturi, Risa Joy Sarandege, Beatrice Waibera Ngeshu, Orian E. Ochien, Joy Anusu Odiambo, Orin Sharon Omoro, Rose Akot Ouma, Catherine Mwendemboya, Sharon Ranoi Siomuich, Depra Anyango Omondi, Gloria Nyambura Tuo, Rusi Nyanjugu Wanjiku, Maureen Mwaniki, Andrew Yang Rebare, Double major in community development and counseling psychology. Kreya Nicole Nabitu Bareke. Chakrin Wawila Nyaga.
By my authority and that of the entire university, I confer on the candidates thereby named the Bachelor of Arts degree of Daystar University. Please be seated. Madam Chancellor, in the year 2019, the following candidates whom I have the honor to present to you satisfied the Board of Examiners and the Senate of Desa University for the award of the Bachelor of Commerce and Bachelor of Science degree of Desa University. By my authority and that of the entire university, I confer on the candidates thereby named the Bachelor of Commerce, Bachelor of Science degrees of Daystar University. Bachelor of Commerce in Accounting, Janice Maria Akiko, Sarafina Munaga Anjimbi, Hajara Gift Atta, Mutua Mumo Collins, Lodi Leboy Daniel, Lenka Joele Doshime, Sandra Amboka Quimba, Louis Stephen Luol, John Madol Malau, Redemptor S. Movi, Rian Alan Mothe, Arian Mur Furaha Muntu, Odiambo Sylvia Nabuire, Fidelis Nyambura Njonjo, Scovia Atieno Omondi, Odiambo Bernard Onyango, Angelica Chelimo Songok, Alice Wanjiru Wanjiku, Samuel Smith, Karel Karire, Timothy Muzaliwa, Janet Jones, Bachelor of Commerce in Business Administration and Management, graduating with honors, Stella Kasura, graduating with honors, Sharon Joy Wanjero, graduating with honors, Barbara Ayako Guyo, Wendy Lisa Achieng, <laughs> Ilen Akinyi Akach, Kiburi K. An, Jedida Njoki Gitau, Kiondo Kamau Justus, Cynthia Wangeshi Kangema, Alice Jambura Kamau, Anthony Kungu. Kamau, Damaris Gadoni Karari, Baraj Ravin Kau, Stanley Musa Kielenzi, Ndeng Atem Bia Makwe, Mwaniki Vincent Mbithi, Phyllis N. Mburu, Claudia Aziza Misenga, John Wamae Midamo, Juliana Desaria Muramba, Esther Wamushi Mudoni, Jacinta Njoki Mwangi, Wekesa Rose Nanjala, Taisha Moringa Nyereze, Ashley Andrea Nyerese, Elizabeth Ndinda Nzioka, Walter Wamae Washira, 
Elizabeth Mudoni Wainaina, Mwara Stephanie Wangari, Alice Maina, Nanga Karioki, Lydia Mashuki, Dan Kandegwa, Bachelor of Commerce in Marketing, Fiona Njeri Kinyanjui, Alex Nene Kiragu, Seth Murithi Mugambi, Lilian Wambara Maura, Debra Moke Nyandusi, Constance Tengo Okumu, Aleta Aranda Gie, Irandangie, Bachelor of, Bachelor of Commerce in Purchasing and Business Logistics, Kabochi Valerie Ann, Kennedy Ekiru Ekwom, Gavin Leteyo Francis, Yangoka Davin Gesare, Naomi Wadui Gishuhi, Benjamin Magoka Joseph, Ruben Kielo Kasu, Robinson M. Kielo, Faris Muhika Maida, Bevalin Vereso Mugala, June Aliviza Mugala, Emily Naitore Miraria, Victor Lords Ngaiwa, Ladies and gentlemen, I'm just about to give a degree to Emily, one of the proposers of the pro garden project. Please congratulate her for me. Angela Nyambura Ngige, Brian Ondisho Nyamache, Ndisi Dev Olo, Brenda Kwamboka Odari, Beatrice Acheng Rachonyo, Masi Kase Sionzi, Douglas Okech Wanga, Masi Wanjira Waweru, Naisie Mainka, Bachelor of Commerce Management Information System. Majie Emmanuel Amel, Robert J. Are, Tabitha Wachuka Chege, Simon Maina Gataua, Z. Cliff Odoyo Kiche, Ian Luis Lidede Makoha, Joshua Isha Nesu Manyanyerekwa. Sela Wangeshi Mushemi. Gitundu Ian Mugambi. Kilonzo Elizabeth Mwangeli. Jeffrey Mwangi Ndisho. Lisa Wanjiku Njagi. Wendy Njeri Njuguna. Masi Mbeke Wambua. Krista Mutoni. Cindy Bakanibona. Kenneth Rotich. Bachelor of Science in Economics, Harvey Guy Habimana, June Mumbe Mbati, 
Melody R. Mochache. Jeffrey Wanyoike Munywa. Alvin Gachua Mutuku. Nandambi Noman Nanyokia. David Ngasha Ngigi. Laura Nyambura Ngine. Purity. Caroline Joki Njuguna. Christabel Chalagat Rotich. Bachelor of Commerce with double major option. Nzigira Judith Dangano. Ruth Dunge Njuguna. Madam Chancellor, in the year 2019, the following candidates whom I have the honor to present to you satisfied the Board of Examiners and the Senate of Daystar University for the award of the Bachelor of Science degrees of Daystar University. May you sit down, please, the graduates from the School of Business. Thank you. By my authority and that of the entire university, I confer on the candidates thereby named the Bachelor of Science degree of the ESTA University. Bachelor of Science in Applied Computer Science. Mike Ezra Ayani. <laughs> Kenesa Krista Bella. Michael Julius Bukachi. Chepsirol Kipkoech Evans. Atemi Ayai Gabriel. Abdurahim Mwaunda. David Gadage Irongo. Imani Mohabasi Jose. Malcolm Maima Miale. Andrew K. Mohoro. Dennis Njogona Mwangi. Nathaniel Mkaya Mwawasi, Brian Morande Ngoko, Christopher Miruka Ombati, Martha Nyawera Dinwa, Gige An Wamboi, Watiba Nyangolu, Bachelor of Science in Actuarial Sciences. Graduating with honors, Victoriana Aluanga, Judy Wanjiro Getao, Seraphine Yvonne Kamara, Moshero Enda Njeri, Rorin Wajiro Moshina, Collins Moshiri Nyaga, Ashre Wainaina, Bachelor of Science in Environmental Health. Flora Jerob Chebon. Elizabeth Mobi Kamau. Bachelor of Science in Mathematics. Wangai Charles Kemenju. Masharia Son Muranga. <laughs> Bachelor of Science in Nursing. So this group will be taking a pledge, so they will remain at the front until they all walk, come forward and they will take the pledge together, led by the head of nursing department, Mrs. Susan Joguna.
Naomi Rathoni Rathara, Anna Adora Jennifer, Susan Jerry Kefisho, Jane Wajiko Kefwe, Mary Jepchi Kipsoi, Gladys Jerry Kerunda, Ruth Ndana Mokozi, Chala Diana Kerubo, Caroline B. Momani, Catherine Moshari, Phoebe Nduko Motisia, Jane Mwehaki Njeri, Roselyn Buyaki Okengo, Seraphine Atieno Okumu, Alice Rorin Ome, Shira Akoth Opi, Omojang Betty Prisira, Noah Chebet Teimet, Acheng Florence. Sound testing, testing sound. Susan Giovanna, please. Welcome back, and as, as spoken about before, we are here at the 41st graduation ceremony at Daystar University at the Athi River Grounds. Of course, the ceremony has been marked by a lot of exuberance and joy amongst the students here at the Athi River Grounds. As you can see behind me, the students are continuing to be awarded. Um, out of the 687 students, a large portion going to the School of Communications, um, which has been awarded a lot of, which has awarded a lot of the students rather, uh, a large portion of the awards. The theme of being a beacon of light, of course, being addressed strongly by the Vice Chancellor and the Chancellor, uh, Professor Mary Murimi, coming out very strongly, uh, encouraging the students not only to just hang their degree on the wall, but to actually use it to serve society and be a beacon of light amongst these society. Um, we continue to follow the proceedings here at the, at the River Grounds, but uh, the students have commented and said that they really appreciate the ceremony and what it has offered them, what their degrees have offered them amongst the years, and uh, for now that is where we leave it. Um, we continue to follow the proceedings here and we will um, notify you on more progress as the ceremony goes along. Please sit down. Madam Chancellor, in the year 2019, the following candidates whom I have the honor to present to you satisfied the Board of Examiners and the Senate of Desta University for the award of the Bachelor of Arts degree of Desta University. By my authority and that of the entire university, I confer on the candidates thereby named the Bachelor of Arts degree of... <laughs>